I am in the plates and dishes aisle and over on the shelf here is a gorgeous drip glaze mid-century modern piece. I don't know who the maker is, but it is definitely from the 50s or 60s. Let's turn it over and see if it's marked. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It has been a crazy, crazy week between preparing to move into my booth at Danny's store, uh, filming and editing videos and preparing for my whatnot sales. I had one Friday night. I have another one this afternoon at two o'clock. They are really exciting and fun. Whatnot has an easy to navigate mobile app for both Apple and Android users. Bidding takes place on a mobile device, but you can also watch from your laptop or computer. If you are new to Whatnot, please create your account using my code. I will put it at the bottom of the screen. It's absolutely free. They don't charge you anything unless you bid in an auction and win an item. Using my code to sign up will give you $15 in credit to spend on Whatnot. My next Whatnot sale is this afternoon, November 13th at 2 p.m. Pacific time. As you can see, I have lots of incredible treasures available for sale and I am giving away this amazing Blanco glass apple. So please bookmark my sale and follow my channel. I'll see you at two. I'm headed over to Goodwill now and I'm going to take you with me so together we can take a look at the shelves. Hopefully they'll have some fun and festive items that I can sell on Whatnot. My sale is tomorrow, Sunday, uh, November the 13th at 2 p.m. Pacific time. I hope to see you there. Let's go to Goodwill. We are here at Goodwill. This is the location on Rainbow and Ulta here in Las Vegas. They have their Christmas items all out and ready. I'm excited to see what they have. Let's go in and see what we can find. Let's go thrifting. We will grab a cart. That was easy. <laughs> I love this store because the hard goods are right up front. They still have these three Halloween figures available. It doesn't look like they're on sale. Still a couple of hundred dollars a piece. Let's pop around this side first and look at the Christmas. These are really fun little mugs. They're made in Japan and it looks like there are four of them. They're little snow scenes with houses in the background. I think they are vintage. They're 99 cents a piece. So I am going to pop these in the cart and look them up on eBay. If you find something you think you're going to get, don't leave it on the shelf. Just pop it in your cart while you decide for certain if you're going to take it or not. Because invariably, if you leave it on the shelf, someone else will take it home. There's another one here that doesn't match. Let's see, are there any more? lots of Christmas tins here. Tins are fun if you are a cookie baker because they are easy to clean, fill with cookies and give as gifts. Some platters over here. We had some good luck last 
time on the shelf. Not today. Let's see. That's a little baker from Michael's. It's a little patriotic pot, very lightweight. Some more mugs. Ooh, here are a couple more of those. They are the same design, but let's uh, take those with us because now we have a set of six. There's two of those houses, three of those. Those are quite fun. I am curious to see what their value is on eBay sold items. That is a dollar store item. This curious glass contraption is still there. Still not sure what that is. little box it has has an ornament inside these are spode glasses spode has uh, a santa on top of their christmas trees unfortunately it looks like these have been through the dishwasher the trees are faded as is the gold rim so we will leave those Some festive plates. We looked at that last time. Has a big chip in it. My Fair Lady gift box. Lots of Christmas mugs and glasses. Just not a really big seller for me. I'm on the opposite side of the aisle now, and as many of you know, the slightly weird and strange sells quite well. This is a rubber-faced Mrs. Claus, and she has been made into a doll with a block of wood and stuffy arms and legs. She's very unique, so I am going to pop her in the cart. We'll keep going on this shelf. We have some crocheted birds, doilies, bags, and cards. Some ornaments here. Not too terribly exciting. And these look like they're stuck to the tape on top. Some signs and boxes. Some little odds and ends in this baggie. That is Elmo. Let's check this box as well. A little ornament with a flower in it. Oh, that doesn't want to go back in the box. 
There we go. This is fun. So kitschy. It's a uh, stitchery ring with a tree and lace. I wonder if this was a vintage kit. It's only $2, so we'll take that as well. It's a little angel, a bit worse for wear. She's missing some berries and uh, some other things. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Here are some mini lights and these will be perfect for my booth in Danny the Niche Lady's store. It's opening in a couple of weeks. We are really, really excited. I'm having a booth as is, oh, look at this. A little bone, doggy bone ornament. It's $2 made by Fringe, it's ceramic. And there are several of these that would look really fun on a pet themed tree. I was wondering whether this would fit bear, but it looks like it's a bit narrow for him. Probably not big enough. Even more of these little ornaments, I'm going to gather them together. Could do an entire tree with these. That is a tissue box cover. Look at this Hallmark ornament, Granddaughter Bear in her little pinafore frock. She's absolutely lovely in her box for $3. Here is a cardinal on a pine cone. That's a resin piece. And this is a little cat in a plaid suit. So cute. I'll take these two. There we go. Here are some resin houses. Let's have a look. I'm not ever so thrilled with that quality, so we'll leave those. So in Danny's store, I have a booth. Our friend Harleen has a booth. Carrie, uh, Mikey Bags of Money, and Sunny Las Vegas. You'll be able to see all of us down there. I have decided that I need the little cardinal bird too. I just love his coloring, and he's only $2.00. Let's check the rest of the shelf. We are in the figurines and knickknacks having a look. Oh, look at this little salt and pepper shaker. It's absolutely lovely. A little tent and uh, an old car. Really fun. We'll take that. Looks to be another of the Christmas bone ornaments. Let's add that to those in the cart. Here is a, looks like a foldable sled, a bit worse for wear, that's coming apart. More Christmas bits creeping over here. Not really sure what that is. Does that hold a candle possibly on a sconce? Here are two little dishes. I'm not familiar with these. I think these are going to be something I add to the cart and look up on eBay. This looks like Mary Poppins. 
interesting Mary Poppins plate. It just has her in the center, frosted. No words, that's quite unusual. Here are some little tang fish tiles. Sadly, they are not as good quality as they could be, so I will leave those. Let's keep going. Lots of dolls up top here. Oh, she is rather unique and interesting. We'll have a closer look at her. I'm going to pop her underneath the cart for a minute. Those are reproductions of vintage pieces. Here is a little ship and a glass sea urchin that's hollow and some enormous rabbits. This is a fancy little pig bank. Some silver plate. It's a sugar and a creamer. Rogers Company. Little doggy in a box ornament. This is an Avon piece, Ben Franklin. More dolls. Ooh, look at these gorgeous goblets. They are Lufkin pottery. I think that is North Carolina. There are a pair of them. Unfortunately, the blue one has a crack across the neck of it. Seeing that they're I am going to pop it in the cart so I can look these up to get a value on them, but I will probably end up leaving the cracked one. That is such a shame because I absolutely love those. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled to see if by any chance there are any more to the set. We are in the holiday section here. Some St. Patrick's Day. This is a cute little quail, but he is $7, so I will pass on him. Little pumpkin, sadly he's chipped. Here is another goblet. This one is quite nice too. I don't think it's Lufkin. It is chipped on the top, so we will leave it. It's interesting little candle holder. I think the stem has broken off a glass on that one. These are Jelly Belly trinket boxes. Not sure if they were originally candles. These are interesting. When you find an advertising piece like these, do take a minute to look them up because you never know. Some of them are highly sought after and can bring some good profit. So let's get these two in the cart and I will take a second in a minute to look several things up at the same time. It's an interesting little doll. She is $5. So I will pop her in the cart and think about her. Browsing through the candles. Looking for a glassy baby, Waterford or Crystal. 
You can tell the quality of these pieces as soon as you pick them up. Most are very lightweight. Here we are in the florals, vases and planters. Lots of terracotta today. This is one of my favorite sections. That is a florist's piece. You just never know what you're going to find here. Look at this bowl. It's pottery, absolutely lovely colors. Beautiful glaze, it's only $3. We'll absolutely take that. Lots of pumpkins and fall wreaths. Those are a little scary. Halloween steaks. Well, these are fun. These go around your um, umbrella on the outside table, a little planter or snack dish. Quite, quite heavy. Baggies of fruit here, potpourri. There's a little project girl. Sadly, she is very damaged. Looks like a little jar of Christmas coal for your stocking. Silk plants, baskets and vases. Oh, here is the, <laughs> that was the blue glass piece to match that orange one we saw. That brass was very lightweight. Watermelon vase. There are just different goblets all over today. Not crazy about that one. This is a party light mosaic piece. Unfortunately, very, very chipped around the edge, so we will leave it. This is a little lucky bamboo elephant. His eyes are quite scratched. So we will leave him too. Vintage vase, not ever such good quality. That spaghetti jar is still there. No lid, unfortunately, still. Checking the clear glass. Here's a little Avon candle holder. I just rounded the corner into the metal section and look at this fan. It's absolutely huge. It appears to be hand painted on split bamboo. It's elephants in a jungle scene. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It would be stunning as a wall display. It is $12.99, but it's green tag, so it's 50% off. 
$6.50. That is a steal. Way down on the bottom shelf here is a Disney Store exclusive Winnie the Pooh with a snow globe. This looks to be quite vintage. So let's take a second to look it up. I'm seeing on Google that pricing is right around $20. Goodwill is asking 10 for it. So based on that, we are going to leave it on the shelf. We are checking out the baggies on the end cap here. And there are some fun vintage Christmas invitations here. These just have that vintage look, not even a barcode on them. They're 99 cents each for different packets. Let's absolutely grab those. On this next end cap, there are some chess pieces and they look to be project pieces and signed. No board, so we will leave those. Oh, look at this lovely dish. It's a beautiful yellow with gorgeous flowers. It's only 99 cents, so I'm not going to even bother to peel the label because I know that I'm going to get it anyway. I am in the plates and dishes aisle and over on the shelf here is a gorgeous drip glaze mid-century modern piece. I don't know who the maker is, but it is definitely from the 50s or 60s. Let's turn it over and see if it's marked. It's a Freeman McFarlane Originals. This is California pottery made in El Monte, California. It looks to be in absolutely perfect condition, only $6.99. Look at this beautiful vintage bowl. Sadly, it has a massive crack in the bottom of it. Hall Superior Quality Kitchenware, tested and approved by the Homemakers Institute. I think that has seen better days. We are here in the kitcheny bits, having a look. Oh, look at this piece. This has a Native American look to it. It's beautifully made, 99 cents. It's hand signed on the bottom. Can't make out what it says, but that is definitely going in the cart. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's see if there are any more similar pieces. We're going to move everything around, see what is hiding back here. We don't want to miss anything. Here is a fridge jug. Unfortunately, the top is a bit worse for wear. little mud pie. Oh, it's a bank. Little Prince bank. That is in great condition. How much do they want for this? Let's see. Six dollars. That is a little steep for resale. I think we will have to leave that. There's some coasters. Only three.
Lots of plates and bowls and serving platters. If you need extras for the holidays, Goodwill is definitely the place to come. These Avon cookie houses are still here. This is a piece of flash glass. You can see the flash paint is peeling away a bit. Some reproduction carnival glass bowls. Little trivet. Lots of clear glass here, cores, ashtrays, those might be worth looking up. As I say, advertising pieces are often quite collectible. That is extremely heavy. Oh, look at this little dish here. This is a beautiful vintage Amber yellow glass, 99 cents. Let's pop that in the cart. Clear glass, that candle holder is still here. Sadly, very broken on the side. That is a reproduction of a vintage sunflower bowl. Here we are in the mugs having a look. The shelves are quite full today. This is interesting. It has a little pig on the handle, little pig head, little farmyard piece. I need three hands. This looks like an English bone china piece. It is Queen's, quite vintage. Here's a little giraffe mug. The neck is the handle, that's really sweet. I think we will grab the cat mug. And what is this? Oh, look at the bear on this. It's pottery, the bear and a pine tree. It's signed, stamped on the bottom. Let's get those two in the cart. And I am going to put those ones back because uh, I looked them up and they are just not worth the hassle. This one is Indra. I'm going to look this up too. Way up on the top shelf here is one of these gallon jug uh, pieces made into a cheese cloche. It's got a lovely pottery tag on it. And that's m part of the reason that I love it so much. Look at the flowers on there. That would look gorgeous with some fruit and cheese in it. Whoops, we'll pop it into the cart. I spotted another gnome. Do you remember in my other video, I found <laughs> the Lakers basketball one? Here is another one for $5. These are quite collectible, really sought after. We will take him too.
This girl is Avon, a little cat cologne bottle. What are these? Magnet flowers. Oh, these will be perfect in my booth for fridge magnets. So let's definitely get those. We'll pop them down there. And here is a Harry Potter coloring book. I have never seen one of these before. It looks like only maybe one or two pages have been colored in. So we will get that too. Let's take our usual stroll through the artwork looking for vintage frames, any original pieces. Old frames are often a telltale sign of vintage works. So I tend to always look at those first. Some mirrors, lots of photo frames, modern canvases, We are headed into the smaller frames and small art pieces. Some flower photography. So much to look at and choose from. Some floral pieces. Those look quite vintage. They are just prints though. That is a second one there. Some photography. I do like to dig through because you just never know what you're going to find. There are some little tiny frames down here. Let's have a look at these. The purple one with a shoe, that's quite modern. This one is interesting. This one is 99 cents. Looks like it opens up. Oh, that is really sweet. It's an enameled look frame. Double heart in perfect condition, only 99 cents. Let's pop that into the cart. Let's check one more time for anything else down here. And we will make our way around the corner into the lamps. Somebody had fun making this shade. All different strips of material. Oh, look at this. Oh, I thought it was marble. It's just plastic. All sorts of glass shades, smaller lamps. Not seeing anything interesting today. 
here is what they have in the furniture. Look at this old organ. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. Some drums and workout equipment. Here's a baseball. Back here is a little angel candle holder. Look at this. It's for a tapered candle, only $2. I really like the look of that. And it's in nice condition. Let's grab that. I was heading over to the cash registers to check out and notice this had been put out on the shelves. It's one of those little 3D crystal ornaments, a wolf howling at the moon with an eagle and some pine trees. It's in need of a good wash. Here on my counter is everything I found at Goodwill. Both of the cats are here inspecting my purchases. How did I do, boys? Ziggy. <laughs> Once they have inspected everything, they will hop down and curl up on the uh, bench behind me while I do my haul. So I'm going to give them a minute to do that. Bandit has settled onto his cat tree here, hanging out with Bear in the bedroom. Ziggy has found a good spot on the bath mat. It's a bit chilly in here, so all his paws are tucked under. You can just see his tail. Ziggy, is it chilly? You don't like the cold, do you? See? <laughs> Bear is here too. He went outside this morning and it was really quite chilly, wasn't it, Bear? <laughs> he came in and his fur was freezing cold. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Did you? Good boy. Did you have your breakfast? Did you? You had your breakfast? It's a good boy. I was excited to find this Harry Potter book. It's absolutely fantastic for coloring, which is so relaxing as an adult. I think you forget what it's like just to sit down and color in some pictures. I really love doing it. But the best thing about this book is the picture uh, selection at the back. Just some really fun scenes of the Harry Potter movies. There's some of Hagrid. We lost Hagrid the actor this year, unfortunately. There he is, there's Voldemort. There's one page that has been colored. There it is, they did a really nice job. The dragon scene where Harry and Hermione and Ron are flying through the school on the dragon. Anywho, I was very excited about this. I paid $2 for it. I am going to ask $12. Next, we have these fantastic vintage Hallmark invitations. They are just amazing. You can see how vintage they are. $1.25 for eight Hallmark cards made in the USA, Kansas City, Missouri. There's two of those. There's an open house invitation. 
we don't do that anymore at least we don't call it that anymore and christmas christmas party invitation with holly and holly berries absolutely lovely i paid 99 cents a piece for those and i'm just not sure i might include those in a whatnot sale or if you would like to purchase one or all of them please shoot me an offer 15vegas.tiffany at gmail.com include your name your address your uh, offer and the item you're interested in back here we have this lovely little granddaughter bear she is dated i didn't realize that 2002 so if you have a 20 21 year old granddaughter this is perfect for you it is as new in the box i paid 2.99 for it i would ask 12 dollars back here we have our funky crazy rubber faced mrs claus <laughs> With her sausage arms and legs and her wood body she is just so quirky i paid 3.99 for her <laughs> and do again shoot me an offer i just have no idea i love this kitschy christmas tree here it's so vintage it is on a stitchery hoop with lace and uh, a tree with a green background, just lovely. I paid $1.99 for it, and I would ask $18. Look at this little cat in her plaid outfit. She's so fun. I paid $2 for her. I would ask $15. This is a lovely, little angel ornament. It has the look of the snow babies, that sort of uh, frosty snow look. It is made by Hermitage Pottery. I paid $2 for it. I am going to ask $15. Absolutely love this little cardinal. I couldn't leave him behind his sweet little face on the pine cone looks like there's just frosty snow on the pine cone and he has a rustic um, wood finish on his feathers and head there i paid two dollars for him i'm going to ask fifteen dollars i love these little bone ceramic ornaments absolutely gorgeous they'd be perfect hanging on your christmas tree you could even do a little cricket label with the names of your pups on them i took one out of the package for you to see they are ceramic double-sided really nice quality just lovely I paid $2 a piece for them. I am going to ask $12. Back here we have our gnome. He is fantastic. I always pick these up because I can get between $35 and $60 for them, depending on the model and the team. So I never hesitate on these. I paid $4.99 for this one. Way at the back, we have our absolutely stunning elephant wall fan. Uh, the back is the the background is an amazing violet color. It's painted with a jungle scene and elephants next to a waterfall. Couldn't believe it had been sitting there for a week because it was on green tag sale. Uh, originally, twelve ninety nine. It was half off, so six fifty. I am going to ask $50. This is Luftkin Pottery, and I'm standing here feeling really, really sad that I didn't rescue its friend because of the crack 
uh, that it had um, around the stem. This one is in perfect condition, but uh, when I go back to Goodwill, even at $6, uh, if the other one is there, I think I will rescue it and uh, pop a ribbon around it or something to cover the damage. It is signed Lufkin Pottery, Seagrove, North Carolina. And then the artist's name, 2002 on that. It's a beautiful piece. Just the colors are fantastic. I found uh, matching plates to this on, um, I believe it was Etsy, but none of these goblets. So I shall ask $25 on this one. Back here we have our stunning cheese and fruit uh, cloche dome. I paid $6 for it. And there are some crazy prices online. I don't know what was going on, but the first one I pulled up was $620. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having this in my booth at Danny's store. It's very, very heavy, so probably not a good idea to ship. Just love this tag, it really makes it. I'm probably going to price it at somewhere around $35 to $40. Speaking of the booth, I found two decorative items that I'm excited about adding uh, to my space. Some holiday mini lights are going to make, make it really festive in there. And these are tin magnet boards in the shape uh, flowers. When Danny and I had our booth at the Fantastic Vintage Market, we struggled to find a way to display uh, some vintage fri fridge magnets that we had. And these flowers come with strings for hanging and um, apparently you can paint them uh, according to the suggestion here. I actually do like them just plain silver as well. Uh, I think there are a couple in there, maybe three. So that is going to be exciting, uh, figuring out how to hang and display some of our vintage magnets. Next, we have this beautiful pottery piece. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is signed on the bottom. Date, I believe, is 91. I'm not familiar with the signature, if anybody knows who that is, please drop me a comment. I would really appreciate it. Possibly Susie Lenin, something like that, 91. I paid 99 cents for it. I am going to ask $25. Look at this pottery piece. Absolutely love the rustic feel of this. It's a bear and the moon and pine trees in blue. Again, a signature on the bottom that I don't recognize. I paid $3.99 for this piece and I am going to ask $25. This is a lovely vintage piece of English bone china, little black cat with some yellow tulips and a lamp absolutely lovely. It's Queen's Fine Bone China of England. It is called, quite fittingly, Cats. Lovely, lovely. Again, I'm going to ask 25 on that. Do you remember how manky this was? So dirty. Please don't be put off if you're thrifting and you come across a piece that is just really dirty and in need of a wash. This came up beautifully. It's in perfect condition. No chips or cracks or anything. A few light scratches on the bottom, but uh, the wolf is howling at the moon with some trees and an eagle above him. I paid $4 for this. I am going to ask $25.
I love pottery, as you know, and this is a beautiful piece. I love the contrast um, with the brown outside and the gray blue inside. It's really lovely. This is also signed. I think it says shoot or something S C H U, and then I can't read the rest of it. Absolutely lovely. I paid three dollars for it. I would ask $25. I couldn't resist this little frame. It is so classy. An enameled look. It folds closed or sits open. This side is a mirror. The other side is open for a photo. You could probably put a photo in both sides if you wanted to. Very decorative. I paid 99 cents for it. I am going to ask $15. Being a camper myself, I couldn't resist this little tent and old woody car, salt and pepper. How fantastic is that? Just love it. Both stoppers are intact. I paid $2 for it. I am going to ask $20. I believe this piece is German. I absolutely love the yellow with the floral design, butterflies and moths on there. I peeled the label. The mark is very, very faint. Let me zoom in. There we go. I believe that is West Germany. Is it Dresden possibly? I'm not sure. If anybody can make out that faded design, please let me know in the comments. It is a lovely piece. I would ask $18 on that. Another lovely vintage piece. If you remember how dirty this was on the shelf, I gave it a wash. It came up beautifully. No chips or cracks. I paid $2 for it. I am going to ask $15. Last but not least, what an amazing find this was. I just couldn't quite believe it when I saw it on the shelf. California pottery, drip glaze. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous design. It's got some fantastic crazing. Just adds to its character. I paid $7 for it. It is a Freeman McFarlane piece. You may be familiar with their gold animals. California pottery. It does have the California pottery mark under the sticker there. And I would value this between... 50 and 75 dollars thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my goodwill trip and my haul please join me on whatnot for my sale at two o'clock p.m this afternoon i will have so many fun things and a couple of amazing giveaways hop on over to whatnot if you're new to whatnot please use my code for 15 dollars credit the code appeared at the beginning of this video. I hope to see you there. Bye. There is Bear taking a nap. Did you have a big run this morning? Very tired.